So, um, you know, this was a test, you know, for us. I, I told the players uh, before, early in the week last week that this was going to be a test, that we were going to play a really good team, and we would actually find out where we were as a team. And um, this was a test for everybody. It was a test for the coaches. It was a test for me. It was a test for all the players. And we obviously didn't do very well. But it's the midterm. It's not the final. So um, if we can learn from some of the mistakes that we made, um, coaches and players alike, we can all get better and have a lot better opportunity, I think, to be successful in the future. So, But everybody's got basically two choices. You know, you can throw in the towel and quit and be mediocre, or you can fight and grind and do the hard things that you need to do to be successful. And I think you don't want to waste a failing, and we certainly don't want to waste this failing. Um, so we're all going to be committed to trying to do things better, practice better, prepare better, have a better plan, you know, for the players, whatever it is, all of us, coaches and players alike. And it all starts with me, and I obviously let our team down in terms of, um, you know, how we were able to execute uh, and play. We went back up and had like 10 penalties, uh, two of which, um, you know, negated touchdowns. Um, you know, they got 10 points off of turnovers, and we gave up way too many explosive plays on defense. Um, and, you know, we have to correct all those things if we're going to be able to play uh, and have the kind of team we're capable of, of, of having. So I believe in these players. These players have worked hard. Um, there was a great atmosphere in the stadium tonight. I appreciate the fans, and they did their part for sure. Uh, we didn't do our part uh, well enough. Uh, it starts with me, as I said before. Um, but we're going to do everything we can to get it right and get it fixed. Start with Nick Kelly here in the middle. Texas had five sacks. Uh, what do you think led to some lapses at times in pass protection? Well, um, you know, a lot of those sacks were four-man rushes. Um, one of them, I think, was a three-man rush. Uh, we didn't get any pressure on their quarterback. Uh, we are trying to play so we could cover their receivers and rush four guys, and we didn't affect him at all. And, um, you know, the third down stuff that we did do, they did a good job of moving the pocket, picking us and playing man to man. And so we didn't do a very good job of affecting their quarterback. And, you know, we just got to do better. I, I can't sit here and say one guy broke down in pass protection. I know, like, something different happened just about on each one of those. Uh, and I think. You know, sometimes we held the ball at quarterback. Uh, we got to do a good job of reading it and getting it out of your hand. And I don't think we did a good enough job of getting away from people and getting open. And they did a good job of matching the patterns. So. Yeah, with Charlie. Hey, Coach, just what did you think of the way that Jalen played tonight? And did you give any thought to maybe playing multiple quarterbacks? Uh, I did, but when. He put the drive together uh, to go down the field and score when we got ahead. Um, you know, I thought that gave him a lot of confidence. And, um, but we, we never ever discussed it. I can't sit here and say the thought doesn't come to mind for any player that's, you know, having a difficult time. And, um, but he made some good plays at the end of the game, and that was good to see. Obviously, the interception was, you know, critical, you know, in the game. And um, so we're just going to work to try to get all our players better. What did you see from point, of, from point of years and the job he was able to do, kind of moving the ball and hit some of those deep passes against you guys? Well, um, we didn't do a very good job adjusting to some motions. We made some mental errors, got people in the wrong spots, and we didn't match the patterns. A couple times we were fine. We had a middle of the field safety. We got pass interference a couple times. Uh, they made a good catch one time. You know, Coley had a guy covered really well, and five made a really good catch. And, um, you know, we were playing quarters, and they had a quarters beater. And 
we didn't poach the safety. I mean, it's a lot of technical stuff, but um, can't let people throw the ball over your head if you're playing in the secondary. So we need to get that fixed. What do you think is the root cause between the behind having so many bad or bobbled snaps? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, it was very surprising to me. We haven't had an issue with that in the past. We haven't had an issue with that in practice. Um, and, you know, those kinds of things put you behind the eight ball on offense. You know, you get a five yard penalty. Um, we had a couple of those false starts. I think we had two snaps and one false start. So um, put you behind in sticks. So the discipline of playing, and this is one of the things I talk to our players about, is um, it's great to be to have emotion and play with emotion. Everybody should have that. But that motion has to be channeled into tangible, functional execution. So you got to focus on the task at hand one play at a time. It's got to be very intentional. If you get emotional, then you make bad choices and decisions. Uh, you, your brain doesn't work like it needs to, and bad things happen, whether you make mistakes on defense, whether you snap the ball poorly, whether you jump off sides. Um, I mean, we had a chance to stop them at the end of the game a couple times and you know, couldn't get off the field and let them you know, bleed the clock. So um, just all in all, we just – didn't do what we needed to do to have a chance to be successful against a good team. Ryan Hennessy. Coach, when Jalen throws the first interception, did you see him kind of, you know, when we talk about taking it one play at a time, did you see him a little cautious throughout the rest of the first half at all? And did that impact why the slow start in the beginning? I can't really answer that. Probably a better question to ask him. Um, I think they kind of, you know, they catted a corner from the backside and they rolled the coverage. We were in trips. And um, I, I don't think he saw, you know, them, the thing roll up. And it was a poor decision. But um, I don't really think I, – I didn't see a bad look from him on the sidelines ever. You know, he was into it. He was talking to Tommy. He was getting new information. So um, – he certainly didn't get the poor me's over any of it. He was competing like crazy and came back and made some really good plays. I mean, we had a chance. We got ahead in the game and what was there, 11 minutes to go in a game or something? And um, so, anyway. Two more, Katie and then Nick. Coach, you just hit on getting ahead at the end of the third quarter and then uh, help Texas scoreless in the third quarter. What changed between the third and the did you see something in the players, or was it just a lack of execution in that final quarter? No, they hit big plays. I mean, if you, if you look at until the end when they ran the, the clock out with like five or six minutes to go, um, we had a chance to stop them on third down. They ran for first down. Um, we had another chance to stop them on third down, jumped off sides. Um, but all the plays that they made were all explosive plays. All were explosive plays. Um, and that was the difference. They didn't make explosive plays in the third quarter. And um, we played better. We got off the field on third down. So um, they took a lot of shots in the game, and they made them. And we knew they would take shots in the game. They did last year. Um, that's how they play. And it's a good way to play. So, um, but. If you play them correctly, they can turn out to be long foul balls too. And we we, we didn't do that. We didn't make that happen. How did you how did you feel like you guys handled substitutions and alignment on defense when Texas went hurry up? A couple times not good. And um, that's when we missed uh, twice missed a match on the you know, wide delay pass where they Fly the back out, tight end comes across. We didn't match the pattern. Um, so, and I think in both cases, I think we had to call, but I think when they went hurry up on it, we were on our heels. So I don't think we did a good job of that. 
We good? All right, thank you. Appreciate it. But I do think that there was a great atmosphere out there. You know, our fans did a tremendous job. We appreciate the support. It was fantastic. And you know, it's a it's a privilege to play in games like this. It's a privilege to play at the University of Alabama. Um, it's a privilege to play where you have such great tradition, uh, and it's a privilege to play where you have such great fan support. So uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you.